Okay, so I'd like to show you another example that uses our vacuum system over here. And there's a story that goes behind this. You know, there was a man that lived about 350 years ago named Otto von Gericke. He happened to be the mayor of a little town over in East Germany called Magdeburg. And you know, in addition to being a politician, he was also a scientist, something we don't have much today, uh, scientists that are politicians. But uh, he was, and he had invented a vacuum pump, one of the very early vacuum pumps. And he had an idea of taking two hemispheres. His hemispheres were about 18 inches in diameter, much bigger than these. And he simply put them together like this, and he took all of the air out of the inside, and then he put two teams of horses, one on either end, and tried to pull them apart. Well, we don't have two teams of horses, but I would like to take the air out and see what happens. So we'll put this on our vacuum pump. We'll close this valve. We'll turn the pump on. And you see the air is being removed because this is coming down towards zero. Now, already you can see they're kind of stuck together. And as it comes down closer and closer to zero, eventually we get impatient. And rather than wait, we'll eventually just close this valve. Once that valve is closed, we can turn off the vacuum pump, let the air in, as we did before. And then we can take the hose off. And we'll also take this little nozzle off. And we'll put right on here a handle. Now, as I said, we don't have two teams of horses. But uh, sir, you look pretty strong. Can you help me pull this apart? <clears throat> no way. And that's because there's about 300 pounds of force pushing down on this. The pressure of the atmosphere is holding it together that hard. If we were to hang this from the ceiling and have someone uh, pull on it that weighs about 300 pounds and try to do a, um, pull themselves up with it, they could perhaps pull it apart. Let's try it once more, and this time I'll let some air in. Not too hard, though. OK. Well, you can do that with a pair of bathroom plungers at home, if you like. <laughs> the same idea. If you have trouble getting them apart, just slide them a little bit like that and let the air in, and then they'll come apart. So that's an illustration of the pressure that the atmosphere exerts.